more experiments whereas I'm sure this won't surprise very many uh, hopefully it'll save a lot of people work who are in the field what you're looking at here is an aquarium plastic aquarium magnets on this side magnets on the other side the spring is nothing more than a way to fasten and what I have is it hooked up to this 12 volt car battery which is very heavy battery and we can see that once I get these uh, unfortunately here we go come on get in there it's 12.44 volts I've got on the other meter I've got amps what we're trying to do is get rid of the fallacy about transmitting from magnetic fields through the glass hopefully this will settle some of that maybe I'm doing it wrong and I'm sure I'll get email about that if that's so so you can see now we've got 12 volts probably about 200 amp hour volts more than that but it doesn't really matter at this point so we have very very strong earth magnets on this side strong earth magnets on the other side of this glass and we've got one side of your 12 volt battery over here one side of the 12 volt battery over there and as you can see there is absolutely no power no current going through there unfortunately I would love to see it but it doesn't exist the uh, thickness of that piece of plastic there is about, oh, I should be more accurate than this, but it's probably about an eighth of an inch. I've done many experiments with this and once in a while I get fooled, but in this case there is no power going through it at all. So if you want to, or have you ever been questioning that, these are so powerful I can't even get them straight apart. Uh, these are dangerously powerful. I've uh, hurt myself many times on them. So we've got quite a field going through there. Unfortunately I can't tell you what the field is. That's one of the bad parts of this experiment. But you, ha you can see that it does not go through there. So we've got 12.44 volts and no amps which not even a trickle coming through here. Hopefully that'll help some.